Welcome back. 25 years of Doom. I'm Timon. And I'm Mag. We're in Hub 3, uh, Ancient Egypt. Ah! It's so ancient. And, and it's Egypt. Yeah. Uh, we got a new variant of the imps here. They actually shoot the ice shards. Uh, the other ones didn't, I don't think. But hey, uh, no big deal for me because I've got bone shard still, yeah. believe it or not. Oh, Anubis? Up here we got a Anubis. Nice. Same as the old bis. <laughs> bup, 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 bup. Uh, so these guys, I kind of remember them being obnoxious, but... Not as bad as the 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 werecats. The cheetah men, yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, understandable. Yeah. Oh, also worth mentioning, this uh, song is like a a remix of the uh, Docs music from Her Heretic. I, I love hear the it. Music. Yes, yeah. I totally also, hear you, it. Totally. Oh, they're obnoxious. Oh. Because, um, it's the Monty Python Black Knight. <laughs> Oh, wow. I was just talking about that. Yeah. Heck. Um, yeah, yeah, he chopped off his arm. Yeah. Then... So they. <laughs> so the deal with Anubis is he constantly tries to fire projectiles unless you were close to him, in which he does a really ineffective. I uh, think. Uh, I keep forgetting this guy's name, and it's so blurry. T Tyranith. Tyr Tyr yeah. Tyranith, maybe. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the uh, Anubis, Anubai, the uh, Anubai, yeah. <laughs> uh, they they fire these projectiles, uh, and then if you get close, they do an ineffective melee attack that's really easy to bait and juke. Uh, and I, I I dismember a lot of Anubises with my sickle in that fashion. Uh, it's so very satisfying enemy dismemberment, like yeah. enemies that are alive and are now missing parts. Right. Also, these golems can fire projectiles, I guess. Sure, it seemed pretty ineffectual, but... In a group, maybe. Maybe. Alright, so... Hub 3, Thysis, which is what they're calling this uh, hub, um, has some pretty notorious puzzles. Oh, poor Anubis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's freaking brutal. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll get there with when they see him. I feel like none of them are that bad. Like there's <laughs> enough hints for all of them, but there's one that gets you because a it's kind of dumb, and b uh, due to uh, technical mishap on the map maker's part, it doesn't work quite right. Oh, okay, one of those. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll get there when we see it. Or the other way. We'll see it when we get there, rather. Yeah, something, something can't get the yellow key on this map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is it with Egypt maps and broken stuff? <laughs> I think Osiris.wad didn't have anything terribly broken, so there's that. Yeah. Not that I can remember anyways, but it's been a... A lifetime and a half, it feels. Right. Oh, did he? He actually bit your ankles. <laughs> yeah, he bites your ankles. <laughs> you have to hit the secret onk button to gain entrance oh, into this. Hey, cut that out, you weird, rude snake statue. Snake turret. Yeah, I guess it's done. It only wanted oh. to fire those two at me. Oh, it's not done. Uh, I was it's, wrong. It's proximity based. Oh, whoa, what the? Yeah, I guess uh, so. Uh, That's uh, awkward push blocks. They like clip through some geometry so you can actually push them, but it's weird. I don't know. Once again, more scorpions and they're just glorified crabs. <laughs> right? Alright, uh... Well, it seems innocent enough. Alas. Uh, I don't have the Eye of Horus or whatever I need there. Key of Anubis, but which one? We've killed so many. <laughs> <laughs> None of them have dropped any keys. Oh, this looks brutal. Better they've all dropped keys and they're all the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Equally unhelpful. And now we just have like seven keys that do nothing. We got their car keys. Right. Good news, I found the key of Anubis. 
Oh. Some of these giant statues you can actually destroy, which is why I sometimes attack them. Gotcha. Was, there was a hint about a solstice. It's important, but hmm. I forget for what exactly. Uh, you uh, know. The, it's, not, it's not quite for the big puzzle uh, or the random... Or, the broken puzzle so you know it, it's pretty straightforward i think i mean y you know the solstice general mysticism stuff yeah. sun in the moon anubis magic sure all right the prophecy of set hmm so it tells you uh that the uh sun's got to be at its highest position that's an important hint for mm. a later puzzle. Gotta meet at high noon and draw pistols. No, wait, yep. wait, hold on. Well, I mean, you're Wrong setting. mostly got it. Ah, uh, uh. Egyptian Wild West. <laughs> right? Hey, the Eye of Horus has opened the Doris. Or I guess Egyptian Western is what I was reaching for. Like Egyptian spaghetti western. Alright, good news. I've got the Raven Staff piece two again. Great. Yeah. That onk on the floor, I believe, is our final destination. Uh, we need the crowns of Egypt to activate it. Alright, and the, we just have a juncture with a bunch of portals. There's, there's a lot to do in this, uh... Oh. In this hub. Would you say this is perhaps four ways of death? I, you know, hey. <laughs> it does seem to be four ways of death. Alright, well, after I slay some more Anubi. Yeah, these guys aren't nearly as bad as the, uh... The, the lycanthrope and the werewolves and were creatures like they're just kind of damage sponges but at least they're fun to dismember it looks like <laughs> right yeah there's a secret passage up here Ooh. if you do some light platforming ah spides dang spides all right uh fun fact that uh floor in the middle is a uh, trap it will break under your feet i'd believe it yeah, I, I'm unsure as to whether or not I. Wow! Oh my Gosh, god! <laughs> oh, oh, it's just a trap door. It doesn't quite break. But also, there's a secret bloody handprint, secret onk switch. Here we go. Ah. Uh, it's probably done something good for me. I don't know. Hey, the Dark Pharaoh's scepter. Hmm. All right, I'm going. Oh, <laughs> hey, watch it there. I wonder if you will actually die or take damage if you land directly on top of the spike. I mean, probably. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. It's, I feel like that would be hard to get just right. Exactly. That's why I wonder about it. Yeah, uh, it's a mystery, actually. <laughs> Classic Anubis fight. Oh, boy. I mean, it takes equally as long, but at least you're hurting them the whole time, so it doesn't feel as cheap. Right. Yeah, I just freaking get to the point now. Yeah. Uh, well, I can't get out this way. Oh, oh fake wall! There's that guy, oh. I guess, is the hint. That's like return to danger with the rats. Yeah. Kinda. I guess be lookout on be on the lookout for generic corpses. Yeah. Who was that guy? Hmm. Alright, uh... What? That, that snake statue was not nearly as aggro as the previous one. Alright, uh... Ooh! Me. Oh, just... Just discs of repulsion. There's gotta be something up here. There we go. Uh, Secret button. Hmm. Hmm. Well, perhaps if I do it in the opposite order, maybe? Okay. I, don't know. I figured it out, I guess. 
Whoa, the flinging spiders at me. Whoa. Hey, buddy. That's a bit rude. Yeah, glyph of the ancients. There's the confirmation. Those look like spike balls. <laughs> Last time we saw them, they just kind of looked like runes. Great, right. I didn't see the red on them. All right, I've solved your spider pit trap. What do I win? Oh, I think this is another patented, yep, physics puzzle. Wow. I have to drag the barrel to the pressure switch. So, uh, they actually made some of the barrels indestructible, so you can't, like, you know, soft lock yourself in the Egypt tomb. Nice. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, Raven soft. Yeah. Luckily, you know, they were forward thinking in that way. It's uh, an imposing door. Oh my. And then we're gonna turn left and see something really cool. No! <laughs> ah. Alright, there we go. Big ol' Anubis head. Yeah, I like how my first instinct is to shoot it. <laughs> Alright, uh... I think the hint on the left was about the big puzzle. It's, again, hard to read. Um, but there's a hint. Uh, there's, like, numerous hints about the big puzzle in this which I'm surprised we haven't gotten to it yet. It's, I guess it's pretty deep in there. Yeah. So I notice you've had the urn selected for a while. Remind me what that does. It's a full heal. Oh, that makes sense. The super yeah, med I kit. just got a... Yeah, I got a, a canopic jar, which, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that like just a jar of organs that they bury next to the dead? I think or so. with the dead? Yeah. Gross. When they when they pull out all your your bits to preserve you, I think the canopic jar is where they put all the the leftovers. Right. Uh, so I need the serpent jewel here. Um, that's a whole process. Uh, we need uh, th that's the room where we make the serpent jewel happen, but yeah. we, we're not we're not equipped for that yet. So we'll be back here eventually. Yeah. Uh, back through another portal. Let's do a different map. We're at, a, at an impasse in the, the other one. Yeah, I'm really thinking about it now. The canopic jar, it's, it's, it's either exactly that and they put all the bits in there, or it's like, it's either where the heart or the brain mush goes. Yeah, hmm. okay. When they, you know, when, when they're doing the mummification thing and they 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 make a brain slurry so they can pull it out. Right. Um, oh, the music, I think, is another Hexen remix. Or a Hexen remix. The other one was Heretic. I think this is a remix of 6-8, uh, which is the song from the Hexen soundtrack that was in 6-8. So, there's that. Okay. Uh, oh, we, we, we found another temple structure. Um, so I think this one with the, uh, it's kind of in ruins and there's some important bits that are easy to miss because of it being ruined that right. I got stuck on. I remember for a long time, the first time I played, I've got the torch. I've never like really used it much in this. I think it creates an aura of light around you. Makes also, sense. this is uh, this is the big puzzle. We've got this great wheel um, that we can't really do anything with yet because we need like a scepter or something. We need this. We need the scarab of time to use this. It seems. Hmm. So okay. that's another dead end. So we're going uh, door number three here, which has a secret sewer route, which I am opting to take. I feel like I must have a lot of boots of speed right now, because I have not used many of them. No. Once or twice, gotten, I think. I've gotten quite a few of them. Alright. John Hex and two necromancer walking around with like a whole bunch of shoelaces <laughs> tied over his shoulder. Like six pairs of boots. Yeah. Alright, so there's like something weird in this room. 
I, like, prevents me from getting to that pressure switch there. Oh. Something huh. about the statue, maybe, but if we're sneaky and, you know, clandestine, we can sneak through this way and the magic powers or whatever don't stop us. Sure. Just hop right on it and we can just get on there now. I like how the entire model turns red to indicate that he's firing a projectile. I actually noticed that when we were fighting death and I think famine a little bit too. Oh yeah. I think it's supposed to be a tell that they're using a ranged attack, except that half the enemies in the game don't flash red and fire right. ranged attack, so like I don't understand. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the heck. It's a mystery. Mm hmm I I solved the Anubis room. Alright, in here I think you kinda have to once I get my stuff. There's uh, stuff you gotta watch out for in this room. It's just an whatever. But yeah, uh, be wary of these two statues here, because uh, they like. If you if you come on, go towards it. If you get too close, they produce like an orb of light. I I don't know if that orb of light hurts you. I feel like I've walked into it without any incident. But hey, hmm. um, also secret switch here that uh. You know, you need. I think this takes us to the secret. Okay, oh, hey. maybe not. Uh, the Pharaoh's key. That's All what right. we get. Got a thing. Yeah. It's bed chambers and nice little bath. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, and a secret panel, which lets us get to the secret room, which I think has where we put the canopic jars. The barrier, burial chamber, yeah, totally. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, we need the, the three or four organ jars to, to proceed here. We've only got one of them. We'll be back. Oh, by the way, so, since we just picked up a skull, I remember that you hit tab earlier, and I did see in our traits that we've got soul stealing and vampiric uh, aura. So yeah. we're definitely getting some lifesteal stuff going on. Necromancy. Yeah. Yeah, so we need the four canopic jars to ride the ride the boat there. So we'll be back. Alright, uh I think I got the scarab of time at some point. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh and in here we have a time portal. Oh, what? Yeah. Set was a time now traveler. We're in, now we're in ancient, ancient Egypt. Super where it was ancient new. Egypt. Ah. Ancient squared Egypt. Neo ancient Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> Double ancient. Oh, man. Uh, but, yeah, there's. We're, we're on our way to the. figuring out the big puzzle. Um, it's just like all the pieces have to fall into place first. We're getting there. We have gotcha. to uh, unlock time travel first and foremost. As you do with any good puzzle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is like the, uh, the level we were just in but not destroyed, which is neat. Yeah. See, the solution to this puzzle where you're locked in a room without the key and no way out is that you have to time travel to before <laughs> you were in the room and unlock the room from the outside. Of oh, course. of course. That Simple. just makes sense. Oldest puzzle in the book. <laughs> right? So here's the big wheel room again, but back in time. Um, I had the... Uh, impression that this was like two years back in time, but I'm, the, the two is for something different. I'm sure this is much, much longer ago. Two millennia. Yeah. So I think that was a hint about how we need to solve this wheel in two different eras in order for us to get the crown of Egypt. Oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, yeah. So 
going back forward in time once again. Uh, the uh, ru the fixed temple revealed that this is a room that exists, and you can find it under the rubble here, which is kind of neat, but also I got stuck on that one because I didn't realize that that's what they were showing me. Gotcha. But yeah, we've got a secret room here now. Uh, some armor. Nice. And oh, man. So if we have to solve the puzzle in two different eras, can you imagine doing that without time travel? <laughs> <laughs> right. Just... Oh, hey, there's one of the, the crowns of Egypt. Oh, hey. We can't quite get there yet, but we've opened the door on the opposite side of the room. Oh, it very much is a, a Egyptian... One of those super tall Egyptian crown things. Yep. Man. <laughs> I like that we've resorted to just uh, <laughs> jump cutting past the yeah, Anubi at this take, point. They, they, they take a long time. And, you know, so you've seen one, you've seen them all, right? Yeah. All right, uh, up here we have... Wait for it. Oh, I'm not going up there yet. Dang it, Anubis. God. Yeah, it's like half our mana just to kill one, dude. It's yeah, insane. That's ridiculous. Uh, well, yeah, there's a big, big statue. Oh. We can destroy its feet. There's no benefit to destroying its feet, but you can. Oh, you can break the its toes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, each individual toes like a piece you can break, but you just need to press the switch. Ah. <laughs> there's nothing under the feet, as far as I know. I mean, Ravensoft, right? Make things interactable. Yeah. Just makes the environment more interesting. Right, fair enough. Alright, what what mysteries await? Those scorpions, that's pretty mysterious, I guess. Ah, uh, haven't seen any of those before. <laughs> hmm, oh? Oh, secret switch. That felt like a Hexen Wolfenstein tube. wall, man. <laughs> right? Alright, I've got magic missiles. Okay, so these what? patterns are important. 3x3 three oh. three grid with three different uh, patterns. Hmm. Uh, just keep those in mind for a while, they'll, they'll come up. I think I've already forgotten two of them, but it's okay. Well, just remember that there are three patterns. That's yes. the important bit. Uh, that's, uh, hint one to the dumb puzzle in this hub. Oh. Whoop. Well, Light I, beam. I did it. Yeah, watch the heck out for that. Well, I'm, I'm good. We're good. I think we're, we're okay. Oh, here's oh. the dumb puzzle. So here's the three by three grid. You have to do them. So, Ow. it could be any one of those three patterns they show you, and it's random every time you attempt the puzzle. And hmm. if you go too fast, you can't solve the puzzle because you trigger the teleport line. So you have to go slowly and hope you get the right pattern. And wait for the um, sequence completed text. Yeah, basically. If you don't wait for the sequence completed text, you know, you've made it... It just resets you. But we've got the... Oh, man. That, that was the dumb puzzle out of the way. Okay. I hope I explained it well enough. We've got the serpent heart. We've got to actually carve it out of this with lightning. That's pretty fucking awesome, yeah. actually. Wow. So now we've got the serpent eye gem, and we can return to the serpent room here. And Whoa. that's pretty cool. Yeah. But wait. Uh, this freaking serpent. It's alive! Oh, what? Ah! placeholder <laughs> uh, what are you talking about it's uh I, it's, a, it's a really cool it's a, giant it's a snake. freaking giant snake yeah um it's killed me more than it's worth and it's like the only time this enemy appears in the game but you know it's it's uh obnoxious it I, it killed me more than it should have i feel oh. also watch out oh the raven staff yeah you get so it's kind of like the Wraith Verge with the Tome of Power, but instead of ghosts, you get ravens. I'm okay with this. Yeah, it's pretty sick. So Tome of Power uh, makes it, like, actually very, very good. 
Yeah. From being I've gotten kind enough, of mediocre. Right. I've got enough of the canopic jars to ride the death boat here. Which I gotta say, I'm loving all the, like, quake engine brush boats we've been seeing recently. I know. It's a theme. Yeah. All right, uh, mystical portal. Let's let's do this. Oh yeah, the dumb puzzle totally got us one of the crowns of Egypt, by the way. Uh, so we're halfway there. Should mention. I imagined. Oh. All right. Well, this is less than ideal. like one of these could be a secret, but I don't think so. Oh, you just climb on this. Piece of cake. Oh, okay. Oh, that totally does open, too. Huh. Oh. Alright, well. In there. Still haven't solved the sun door yet. Hmm. All right, key I've got the key of Ra. That means I've solved the sun door. Hey. All right, here's where that um, sun at its highest point hint comes into play. Ah. Uh, we've got a, a mechanism here, a sundial. Yeah. 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 That's what it looks like. So. Uh, it took me, I, I didn't realize there was a button at the bottom of it, so I jumped in the pit and oh. wandered around for a little bit. <laughs> My bad. Hey, there's the other crown. I need that. Give me. Uh, I better go do the sundial thing. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh, hey. Huh. Well, sure. That works, too. Am I mistaken? What does the time puzzle get you? I thought... Huh. I must have missed something or misunderstood a situation somewhere. Maybe mm. the random puzzle didn't eh, give me what I thought it did. Anyway, we have to set it to high noon to solve the puzzle. It takes a while because it's at a bad spot. But it's 12 o'clock. Uh, the set door from the very beginning Whoa. of the hub <laughs> now crumbles apart. We get this uh, scepter here. The staff of Nefertiti. And now we can solve the the big time puzzle. Um, so the gist of it is uh, you're supposed the, the hints basically say you have to set uh, one dial to this specific thing, and also the the other dial back in time has to be t set to the specific thing, but offset by two. Okay, so, that's what the two was you were thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got both crowns of Egypt. I can now ride the Ankh lift uh, down here, and well, oh, oh. the, the boss, big boss. Which horseman do we have today? Leg. We got leg. All right. He's, He's got, got a boar. <laughs> He's a boar man. Pestilence the boar man. He seems to have some sort of weapon in his hand, anyhow. A crossbow? Uh, a hey, that's what it looks musket? like. Musket? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be careful with the freaking glyph of the ancients. You can't put too many of them at once, or Hex and Two will crash. And oh. that uh, caused me issues in the next boss. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I'm gonna for sure use my Force Cubes and Tomes of Power. Shower this guy in freaking birds. <laughs> Who's the real pestilence? Alright, I'm out of birds, but... <laughs> oh, I've got him back! Set ammo type bird. <laughs> and 
these 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 homing projectiles are like a nuisance. They don't do much damage, but they're like getting me. Just chipping you away. Yeah. Well, this is the pause break halftime. Yeah. All right, we're back at it. I got him. He's got. I'm missing his particle show. What? About, turn turn around and look at him. All right, we're good. It looked like he was firing spike balls though. While he was yeah. dying. Welp. The cloud of energy. Well. Hmm. The land of Septimus. Yep. The final defense. A... Yep. Yep. Final horseman of the coming Eidolons. You were right. Ow! Oh, I guess Anubis is known as Mummy Lord. Oh, <laughs> okay. I didn't realize that tidbit. Hmm. Oh well, it'll probably be there in the bio. Yeah, it totally was. <laughs> it was in the bio. Yep. <laughs> Pre-production. What's that? We do all these live. Look, it's, uh, oh, I've been frozen. I shattered. Rough. Yeah, Te Te Temin's totally playing right now. We've been recording this for six hours. Yeah, I'm just warping to all these locations and dying for fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he could have totally beat the game on one go. He just wanted to add tense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, freaking snake guy. That is still a very cool boss intro, though, but that's really mean, right? You activate yeah, the snake a, and immediately yeah. get hit by a beam of light. <laughs> yep. Didn't even make it that time. <laughs> I turned into Chunky Salsa. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that, boo. Wow. Freaking sneak room, man. Woo! Wow, that fire can travel across pits? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, that was that. Uh, next time, Hub 4. It's like Greek rome style hub sure so the, the, there's that uh next time the end yeah time travel time time